Hello, so uh, in this video here we'll be looking at a manometer problem and I'll just read the problem statement really quickly. It says the manometer shown is filled with both uh, water and oil and the density of the water is known while the density of the oil is unknown. We have the left side sealed and a pressure of 111,125 pascals and the right side is open to the atmosphere. So what we want to do is determine the density of the oil and then use this table right here to determine the API gravity. And this is just a conversion uh, chart between density and API gravity of oil. All right, so first things first, let's look at the manometer and look at our pressure terms. We have pressure due to water and pressure due to oil. Um, so here, this is they have what's known as hydrostatic pressure, which means there is pressure due to the weight of the fluid. And the way we write hydrostatic pressure is P equals rho And that means that the, the pressure, the hydrostatic pressure is going to be equal to the density of the fluid times gravity multiplied by the height of the fluid. And another thing uh, I like to look at is when I see a manometer, I think of the bottom of the manometer as an equal sign. And the reason uh, I like to think of it that way is because the pressure on the left hand side is going to have to be equal to the pressure on the right hand side. And just like when you have terms on both sides of an equal sign, you can cancel it out. So notice that we have water on both sides. And when you're when you're writing out the equation for the, the, the pressure on both sides, you're going to have you're going to have uh, rho GH for water plus some other terms equal to rho GH of water plus some other terms. So I wouldn't recommend doing this every time. This is uh, simply for demonstration purposes. So both sides have pressure due to water, but what we're going to do is set this essentially as our zero point. And the reason we're going to do that is because everything below this line here um, has equal pressure and we're able to ignore it and focus more on the pressures above this line. Okay? So keeping that in mind, we can now write our uh, equation with uh, the various pressure terms. So we have the pressure on the left hand side, which we're given, plus the hydrostatic pressure of water, and then we're ignoring everything below that, jumping to this side, we have the oil and the pressure due to um, atmospheric pressure. Okay, so we have uh, most of these terms already. We're given uh, P sub L, we know P ATM. Uh, G is going to just be a constant. So the thing we, we don't have yet is the height of the water and the height of the oil. And you have to be careful with these terms because what exact, uh, which height are we talking about? So when you go over here, you're interested in this height right here. So the height of water is going to be equal to just that particular section right there. It's going to be the 2.65 minus the two meters. And similarly with the 
looking at the height of the oil, it's not going to be all this, just this particular section. So the 4 meters minus the 2 meters gives us a uh, height of the oil column is 2 meters. All right? And now, uh, looks like we have these terms, and we've got the setup, and the rest is going to be just simply algebra solving for the uh, density of oil. And now, uh, with this equation here, we can substitute our values and solve for the density of oil. All right, now um, substituting these values, pressure in the left-hand side. Okay, and now uh, crunching the numbers, we'll get that the density of oil is 825 kilograms per meter cubed. And then going over to our chart here, we see that that corresponds to an API gravity of 40. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon.